Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I kind of wanted to do um, like an avant-garde look. I'm kind of wanting to play around with more like editorial type makeup instead of just like my regular everyday makeup. So the look that I'm going for today is this. Look at that. Um, the only thing is, I have to go to class here in a little bit, so we're just going to stick with this look for now, and then after class, I'm going to come back and do the rest. <laughs> okay, so I started off by priming my eye, as always, with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus um, eyeshadow primer. Alright, and then on my Japanese 230 brush, I'm going to go into the shade Poppy from Makeup Geek. And I'm just going to put that, I'm going to focus it on the inner half of my lid and the outer half of my lid, but kind of leave like the center spot kind of, kind of bare. Right, and then I'm going to go in with my Morphe M330 brush into that poppy shade and I'm going to run it through my crease. Now I'm going to try to bring that up pretty far. Okay, and then next I went into my Morphe 35B palette. And I'm just going to take this shade right here. And I'm going to go over top of that poppy. Guys, while filming this, or not while filming, but while I was getting ready before I filmed, I think I found, like, my favorite combination of foundations. Recently, I've been using the, um, Fiona Styles Matte found Finish Foundation mixed with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation, and it's, it's great. I love, I, you know, that's a great combination, but today, um just because I felt like trying it. I mixed the Fiona Styles with this Doll 10 Hydrogel Foundation and I love it. I didn't even have to powder my face today which is really weird for me because I powder my face all the time. The only place that I even put powder was just like in this area right here because it tends to get a little bit oily and you know up here can kind of crease but I was really happy with it. Alright so then next on my Glam & Beauty pencil brush I'm going back into the Morphe 35B palette and I'm just going to take this color right here, this yellow, and I'm just going to run that kind of along the edges of this orange and kind of blend it outward a little bit. Alright, so then after that, I went back in with the little Glam and Beauty pencil brush, and I took the shade Abyss from the Jaclyn Hill palette, and I just, I, I built the color up, so don't like cram your brush into there and immediately go on there, so just, you know, tap and then like flick off the excess and then gently go in and then build the color up. So I'm kind of like keeping this in my crease. Um, I'm just kind of like, like keeping my eye open, kind of like a cr cut crease, how I do that, but, um, different. <laughs> and I'm like barely touching it to my skin. I'm kind of trying to put this, um, kind of along where the orange and the yellow met. Then I am going to kind of run it like right here, just a slight bit. And then I'm going to bring it down onto like the very outer corner of my eye. I'm, like racing the clock right now, guys. It took way too long on the other half of my face. And I did do the other half of my face here, like the other eye, um, before I put my foundation and everything on. Just because I didn't want like fallout. So I want to do that. Alright, so then I'm just going to take that orange shade again from the Morphe 35B palette. And is my monitor working or no? Okay. And then I'm going to blend that black upward. Alright, 
fine. Then I'm going to take more of that yellow shade from the 35B palette. And I'm going to blend the orange out now. Alright, and then on my little MAC small shadow brush, I'm going to take more of that yellow. And I'm going to put that right here. So it's kind of like a halo eye. And I am going to take a little bit more of that orange and just blend all of this out. It's on my lid. Okay, and then I'm going to take that yellow on my Glam and Beauty brush. And I'm just going to run that underneath of my eye. I took that down pretty far. Okay, and then took some of that orange. Did the same thing, but kind of just went up a little bit farther than where the yellow is. Alright, and then on my Morph Ooh, goodness. On my Morphe MB47 brush, I'm gonna take more of Abyss and run it right underneath of my lower lash line. Alright, and then after that I took a NYX um, eyeliner in the shade Jet Black and I just wa or watered my... yeah, okay. Alright, let's see. Find my inner waterline. Right here. Right, and then I took a little bit more of that abyss shade and I just set that. Alright, so then after that in the Morphe MB, no, not MB, <laughs> 35B palette. Guys, all I've had today is coffee. I'm going to take the yellow shade right here, a little shimmery one, on uh, my MAC pencil, or er, shadow brush. <laughs> Guys, I can't formulate thoughts. But I'm going to take that and I'm going to put that on my inner corner. That, and then I'm also going to bring it down just a little bit. And I'm just going to blend around the edges with my Cala 40, 45, 415 brush. Goodness gracious, Lindsay. Alright, so then I'm just going to put some of my L'Oreal Lash Paradise mascara on. Alright, so while my eyelash is drying, I'm going to go ahead and do my brow. And she has like... A mega arch on hers it goes like all the way up and I'm still trying to master the art of like doing different types of eyebrows on myself so we're just gonna try it and I did just post a um, eyebrow tutorial like a couple days ago I think so if you want to see how I normally do my eyebrows go ahead and check that out I'll try to link it down below Oh, and I'm using the Anastasia Brow Definer in Chocolate. Oh, I saw in my in my brow tutorial I gave like little dupes for the Brow Wiz and the Dip Brow from Anastasia, and they're both from L'Oreal. They're from the um, the Brow Stylist, yeah, Brow Stylist um, little eyebrow collection that they have. And I just saw the other day that they're coming out with one like another brow product that looks just like the brow definer. So I'm really curious, I'm gonna try that. I need new lashes, guys. It's bad. There's like a giant chunk missing out of this one and it's driving me insane. 
I've been using some MAC lashes that I have, um, but I don't, does anybody know how to tell what style MAC lashes are, like on the little container? Because I wanted to say that these ones were A94, I've been, like, these, these types are what I've been using, but when I googled MAC A94s, those didn't pop up, so... <laughs> you guys know where the styles are on these little boxes and I'm just missing it, let me know. Alright, and while that is drying, I'm going to do the rest of my bag. So I'm going to take the Anastasia Dip Brow in chocolate, and I'm just going to darken up my arch. And I'm just going to clean it up with my Morphe M410 brush. And I'm not even taking any product on it. I'm just running it along the edges. Mainly because I've already done my eyeshadow and I don't want to mess it up. <laughs> and I'm just going to set them with my Lash Food Brow Food uh, Brow Enhancing Gel. I feel like this stuff has been working on my left eyebrow, like right up here, I feel like it's been working. I don't know if that's just like Dumbo's feather type of a thing or what, but I feel like it's been working better on my left brow than my right. It's kind of weird to me. Maybe it's just not even working. Who knows? And then I'm going to take my Bahama Mama bronzer from the Balm, um, my little BH Cosmetics brush, of course. I always list my brushes down below. I don't know what this is because it's rubbed off, but I'll put it down below. And I'm just going to bronze my face. I'm also really happy because where I didn't powder my face from that foundation, like, my, my uh, powder products are working really well on top of it. Like, this bronzer, it's it's working perfectly fine. I always expect my um, like bronzer to get patchy and stuff, that's why I always like overly powder my face. And I did kind of, oh, I swear, my monitor is driving me nuts, guys. I did bring this contour down a little bit farther than I normally do, just because the chick in the face chart did. So I kind of brought it like, just gently to like the outer corner of my mouth. Just like barely anything. And then I'm actually going to go into the, where's my brush? Into the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette. And I'm going to take the shade, I think it's Levitation. I'm always so confused by this because you like, you, oh, this palette has seen better days. You look at it and then you look at the picture on the back and it's like I don't know like if this orangey shade right here is levitation or lucid because it's like right on the back of the pan or if it's levitation. I don't know. It's confusing. But I'm taking the orangey one and I'm just going to take it on this little I don't know what this is. It's this type of a brush. <laughs> and I'm just going to kind of like, kind of use it as somewhat of a blush, but I'm going to put it like right here. It like barely shows up, but. And then on my other little BH Cosmetics brush, I'm going to take the shades Lyric and like the lightest one right here. I think that's, I think that one's Lucid. But I'm going to like mix them and just run it underneath of that contour. Then I'm going to take more of that Bahama Mama bronzer on my Sephora Pro Cream Shadow Brush, number 28, and I'm going to contour the other side of my nose. And I kind of just like connected this contour with the black that we did of the eyeshadow. And I'm just going to blend that out. And the face chart didn't really show that she was, like, having, like, she didn't really have, like, mega highlighter on, per se. 
not really like yeah but we're gonna do highlighter anyway because I can't live without it so I'm going to take Laura Geller's Gilded Honey highlighter because it's kind of this goldeny yellowy tone on my Sonia Kashuk 109 brush and I'm just going to highlight a little bit here Right, and since I am going to class, I'm not gonna, you know, roll in with a uh, yellow lipstick on, so I'm just gonna do some chapstick. <laughs> okay, so this is the completed look for me to go to class, but I will be back to see you in some amount of hours, so <laughs> we'll finish this avant-garde look. Alright, and we're back. So... On the face chart, the girl has like little, like whitish yellowy dots. Ooh, there's light. Like right under there. And kind of like right along the top here. And I don't have like a white liquid liner, so we're going to try this pencil and we're going to see how this goes. <laughs> and it's just a Wet n Wild, one of their um, color icon coal liners. Not used to doing this like avant-garde type makeup guys like the most I've ever done if you've been following me on my Instagram for any amount of time which my Instagram is down below in the description box um, the only thing that I've ever really done like this is last year around this time I did the Joker and Harley Quinn makeup because I was Harley Quinn for Halloween so that's about it so this is a uh, this is a first for me I feel like that's not working. Okay, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna try to go in with this Maybelline Color Tattoo Eye Chrome. It's one of these. It's in the shade Gilded Rose. And I'm gonna kind of just try to like stamp it and possibly go back over it with like a white eyeshadow or something. I don't know guys, we're gonna try this. Alright, we're gonna do this. I'm gonna take my tweezers and try this. This stuff, by the way, like, once it's on, it is on. Like, when they say color tattoo, it, they are not joking. Alright, I feel like that looks kind of weird, but uh, we're just going to roll with it for right now and see what happens. Oh yeah, okay. So I'm just tapping over top of that on my lid with just a little bit of the white from the Morphe palette that I've been using. Just to kind of, oh this is hard with lashes guys, but just to make it look a little bit more white instead of like that shiny pink. So I think I'm just gonna add a little bit more yellow here. I think I'm gonna mix brown script from MAC with a little bit of that yellow from the Morphe palette that we've been using. Just to make kind of like a yellowy orangey brownish color. And I'm just gonna go in. This is, this is hard for me to do, guys. Okay, you know what? We're gonna come back to this part. We're, we're, just, we're gonna come back to this part. We're struggling together through this, okay? But I'm gonna take my little... Kala 415 brush and this MAC brown script and I'm going to attempt to make my nose look like hers. Guys, I might end up turning this into a different look. I don't know yet. We'll see.
And I'm going to take my Anastasia and Nicole Glow Kit. And I'm going to take the shade Daydream. This orange one right here. here. And I'm going to... I'm going to mix it. Yeah, I'm going to mix this with that orange shade from the Morphe palette. And we're going to highlight our face with that right here. And on this little um, Glam and Beauty brush, the one that I use to carve out my cut creases, I'm going to take that sparkly yellow shade from the Morphe palette, and I'm going to do right here. Alright, so I'm just going to start on the lips, and then we'll come back to this monstrosity that is my face. Alright, and I've never done this before, but what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to put the NYX Glitter Primer on my lips, and then I'm going to use an eyeshadow over it because I don't have a yellow lipstick. try to do is I'm going to take this brown Jordana liner and it's called black brown it's one of the cat eyeliners and I'm just going to attempt to make myself look like this lady we're going to kind of just do our own thing here that's what we're going to do we're going to turn it into something else here. I feel like I want to turn this into like a pumpkin skull looking thing. We're problem solving, guys. We're problem solving. So, this happened. My battery died on my camera in the middle of this book, and uh, it was already starting to look like crap, so I was like, you know what, let's just, let's just go all out. So this is what happened. I don't really... I don't really know what this is. A skull mixed with, like, pumpkin. I don't know. This is what I ended with, though. So, uh, still don't know if I'm gonna post this video or not. Alright, well, um, I don't know if this was a total fail or if this was, like, good. Anyways, I'm just gonna go now. I'm gonna go wash my face and, you know, the regret off. We'll see you guys in my next video. I hope you all have a great day. Bye!